Apparently, the TTFA could not wait until Monday, which was the original date they themselves set for the revelation of the new men's senior team head coach. A press release from the association today confirmed what C Sports reported last night, and that is that Dennis Lawrence has agreed to take the job. This became apparent after the other candidate, Stuart Charles Favrier, in an interview with C Sports late on Friday, conceded and sent best wishes to Lawrence, and the TTFA quickly followed by stating in today's release, quote, this press release is now being made in order to quell further speculation and keep our stakeholders informed, end quote. And his, in his own response to accepting the post, Lawrence said, the experience I gained working under different coaches during my 89 international caps for TNT and my exposure in coaching has all helped shape me. I intend to give my very best towards this national effort. Lawrence will arrive in the country next week and be presented to the national community thereafter. Lawrence's experience as a professional player is unquestionable, having started here at home with Caledonia AIA and then the Defence Force between 1993 and 2000. Then between 2001 and 2009, he played for three clubs in the UK, Wrexham, Swansea City and Crew Alexandra. But his experience as a coach began at Wigan Athletic after impressing Spanish coach Roberto Martinez in 2010. Lawrence then went on to become a first team development coach at Everton when Martinez took up the head coaching role there and then moved with Martinez again in 2016 to the Belgian national team where he is a scout, affectionately known as Tallest. Lawrence holds a UEFA Pro License coaching badge, the highest coaching certification available. A UEFA Pro License is required by anyone wishing to manage a football club in the top level of a European nation's league system on a permanent basis. Well, in reaction to Lawrence's appointment, several of his former teammates congratulated him. Recently recalled to the national team, Carlos Edwards said, I think it's a really good decision. His passion and commitment to the game is second to none. I think this opportunity now is the best thing for Dennis and the country on a whole. Stern John, who also went to the 2006 World Cup with the new head coach, said, It is important that he also receive the fullest support of the FA, which I am sure they will do. The players and everyone involved in the game locally as well as the country on a whole. It's the only way we can move forward as a nation in football. And that concern from Stern was responded to immediately by the TTFA president. I am fully satisfied. Dennis will have my full support as every coach in the world has had under my tenure, contrary to popular belief.